Greetings and salutations. I am Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I, so I recorded my YNAB video and I was very happy with it. I screen recorded specifically on the Chromebook and it did not record the video. This portion did not record. It cut off at some point halfway through and the audio didn't record, period. So I am working with the screen capture and I'm going to do a voiceover. And next time I am going to double and triple check that everything is working before I actually start filming because this is driving me a little crazy. Let's get started. Fingers crossed that this syncs up well. Uh, so, as you can see, I have $2,223.18 to assign, and I have lots of red categories and yellow categories for this month because whatever I did last week on the video that didn't quite record, it, it's a mess. So, we're taking a look at everything and please forgive me if what I say doesn't line up exactly with what's on the screen. I am doing my best. First, we're going to talk about the Nissan bill. Essentially, um, I needed to assign $300 to meet my target, but I didn't actually assign the $300, but I had enough in there to pay the bill. So I am not sure exactly what happened, except that I must have assigned that $300 in the last month of July instead of moving forward to August to do it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, then I snoozed the target to have it stop being yellow and annoying me. That's where I think we are with this. <clears throat> we move on to the Honda. That is funded. That can is going to be paid. I actually need to remember to do that tonight. Now that I've made the video, things are not done. My mortgage, I need 800 by the 24th. I am actually figuring out that I am going to get paid again before then. So I am going to pay this from my next check and I am only going to put in about half of what I need for right now and maybe adjust it later. Um, perfect. State farm claims, state farm claims. Have I moved on? I have, uh, leaving that be for right now interest charges I don't know moving on looking at the weekly bills uh, groceries so it feels like I'm two weeks off and so even though I says refill up to 250 each week I'm gonna go ahead and put what did I decide to put in there 500 Bueller Bueller there we go to cover two weeks so that I have enough in there for the next two weeks of bills. Excellent. Or have groceries. Then I'm down to 1023 already. Holy cow. Um, up to $70 each week, so I'm doubling that. I'm putting in $140. <clears throat> I apologize for my throat clearing. My weird voice thingies. Fast food. We spent a lot for fast food this last time. So we're going to, I think we're going to cover that. Oh, 106.66. I am just covering it barely. I don't think I'm adding anything more to that. Are we moving on? Are we moving? Nope. I'm putting in 150. That gives me $43.34 to screw with. Forgot to budget. I have $120 in there. I'm going to leave that there for right now. And I am going to, because we aren't using these, when I pay for alcohol, when my partner pays for alcohol, we purchase it from our individual accounts. So those two categories are going to go away. I am looking and trying to figure out how to make them go away here, as you can see. Edit category. This is it. I'm closer. Hide. That's what I've done. I've hidden it. I'm happy. I'm going. I'm hiding the other one for my partner. Bam. Okay. Monthly bills. 
I didn't actually assign anything, I think, to the phone. It was in there. I paid it. It's taken care of. Patreon, bam, taken care of. Same thing. Didn't add anything to it. I was in there from last month. Um, insurance, $134, $135 more needed by the 5th. So, I think I'm going to just assign the 135 question mark. When I stop screwing around, I wish I could remember everything I was saying right here. I That would make things... Or maybe I'm going to leave it be because it's already been paid for by the 5th. And this is me going back and trying to figure that out. Yeah, spent 264 of 282. I did. I funded it and paid it in July. Um, and then I managed to skip over August and go all the way to September. Takes me a minute to realize what has happened. And then I figure it out. And I go back to August. Okay. So insurance. I'm not going to do anything with that. Netflix, taking care of gym membership, bam, done. IRS, you need that year $250, we'll give it to you. Disney, uh, I've heard that Disney and Hulu and the Sports Ball channel are going to, ESPN, are all going to go up. Um, but then I also heard that Disney and Hulu and maybe HBO are doing a partnership. So I might have to check that out because we currently do use HBO quite a bit. Um, electricity, um, that's funded somehow. Um, did I just do that? I'm not sure. Internet, 9590. Now I said that and then I realized the bill has actually changed. I paid the right amount last month, but this month it's going up. So I'm going to change my target when I'm done with whatever monologue I'm currently performing. I don't know what that is. 113.90, that's what the new amount is going to be. And now I go and change the target. Edit target, 113.90. I thought maybe I was overdue from last time. I'm actually not. And I do remember talking about since it went up less than $10. I am not going to get it adjusted down yet. I'm going to wait until it gets up into like the 125, 150 range, and then I'll negotiate my bill down again. I don't know if that's more effective. It's certainly not cost effective for me, but I feel like I get a better deal maybe for putting up with their crap a little bit longer. Um, I really hope this is recording. Honest to goodness. Oil and heating, two seventy five. Was it there? Did I add it? I don't know. Water bill, forty seventy five. I actually have the water bill right now, so I'm going to adjust that forty dollars and seventy five cents that I needed because my bill is not one forty; it's like one forty five, and I'm going to change that forty dollars and seventy five cents to like forty five dollars and seventy five cents. I really, really am. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now it's changed. Uh, what else have we got? Then we're down into the annual bills. I let those be for a minute because I knew I had overspent categories down here. The just for fun, I don't remember what I spent for $18, but I'm sure it was fun. Books, I actually participated in a Kickstarter where, for my favorite, one of my favorite web comics, uh, Long Exposure by Marzoid. And he, I have the first half of the comic in paperback and now the second half of the comic is coming out. And um, they were offering some NSFW uh, bonus content for extra. So I went ahead and Went ahead and enjoyed, added that to my cart. All right, now I'm over. $20.16. I'm going to keep on going and then I'll figure out how much I have to change at the end. Haircuts, don't think I'm adding anything there. Clothing, not adding anything there. College stuff. So my youngest is going to college. 
and they they were offered a grant an unsubsidized loan and a subsidized loan and what was remaining for this particular community college at this particular time was something that we could manage ourselves and so I am putting in exactly how much I'm going to need on the 15th of every month for the next four months. And what's going to happen is that my kid and I are going to split it so that they have some skin in the game too. Um, I am sure this is going to work out well. I, I, they're doing a work study. And from what I understand, a work study is a form of, of student aid but I don't know if it gets paid directly to them or if they're going to get paid in such a way that they can only use the money on things like tuition, books at the bookstore, or um, like food on campus or something. Um, so that is uncertain, but we're just going to figure it out as we go. And yeah, my kids go into college. It makes me want to go back to school too. It really does. And I have a class that I'm taking right now on Notion and I'm looking forward to getting to the point where I can do some videos on Notion and really kind of explain all of the things that I'm learning just because it is so good for so many different things but at any rate I don't know why I'm dawdling here on 157.51 I think I oh now finally I'm getting back to the juices to the good stuff. Fill up to 15, 157.51 every month due on September 15th. Repeat, repeat every one month. And it doesn't give me until a certain date, so I'll just know when it's done. And I'll reset it for with the new amount might be. Um, for right now, I am going to put in exactly what's needed. And I have $10 left in there because I was adding like $10 every month for every check. I'm actually going to take that out. So it's exactly covered. And then I need to fix that $202.67. Um, I have assigned more than I have. I need to fix it. What am I doing? What am I talking about? I don't know. There goes the mouse. And I'm scrolling. Scrolling. Stopped. Okay. Fix this. So I had rollover. I had forgot to budget. So I'll take that out first and bring that down to zero. That's taken me to 82.67. Now, rollover has quite a bit of it, quite a bit of money in it. If I take more than, oh, so if I take out exactly 82.67, then I am um, square. But I didn't add anything to my annual bills. And I want to do that. So I need to scroll back down. Why am I messing with the forgot to budget? I don't know. No. Come on, Nikki. You can do this. Go back down to... See, I wanted to add into the annual bills, so... I think I'm just going to do it. There we go. Thirty-one fifty. That's what I need this month. Bam, I'm on track. Fourteen seventy-four more needed this month. Bam, I'm on track. Four dollars more needed this month for GoDaddy. On track. Music. Two dollars and twenty-seven cents. Very good. YNAB. Okay, so I need eight seventy-five more this month. Except, I haven't changed my target yet, and YNAB went up. Do I remember how high it went up? Nope. Um. So I'm changing the target to 125 and I am going to adjust this poorly. As you can see, I only have, 
okay, $223 is entirely more than I needed. How much do I need? $125. No, I took everything out. $1098. That's what I need. Come on. We can do it. Okay, that 1098 is taken care of. Now let's move on to Dropbox. 999 is needed this month. Bam. AAA needs $11.50. Come on now. I really can't see on my phone, so I'm concentrating on the monitor next to me. Come on now, $11.50. Just put it in there. Click in the box. You can do it. There we go. Eleven fifty. Bam. Ten dollars and sixty cents for Canva. Love Canva. Love it. Loving Notion too, and everything I can do there. And then Gym Annual. Three dollars and ninety eight more needed, and that has me ninety nine dollars and fifty six cents more than I have. I'm just gonna quick go up, fix this. Go down to rollover, down to rollover, and bam. And that is essentially that. Hold on just a second. So I managed it. Fingers crossed that the recording took. Fingers crossed that the audio took all of those things. Um, one of the things that I did go on and on about here at the end I actually don't remember which means the end of the video is here I hope everybody's having a fantastic day if you're not having a fantastic day I hope you're having a good day and if you're not having a good day I hope tomorrow's better thank you for sticking in there with me through this horrible awful bad no good experience uh, that actually turned out just fine. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, feel free to leave a money emoji in the comments and let me know what in your life do you need accountability for? Uh, not necessarily from people on YouTube, but just generally in accountability. I need accountability to keep track on with my budgets and to clean the house. Uh, I really need to clean my house. <laughs> Some videos like that are going to coming, going to be coming. Some Notion videos are going to be coming. I will see you next time. Bye.